Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make Shankar Bali, which is a typical Maharashtrian or South Indian snack. It can be prepared either as savory or sweet snack and it can be used as a munching snack for evening tea. But most commonly it is done for the must snack during Diwali festival season. Here are the ingredients. Traditionally, this is made up of wheat maida. Here are some ingredients in the video. I'm using a zero G maida replacer. I bought it from Amazon India, and it contains rice, sorghum flour, and maize flour. So, in a large bowl, I'm adding ghee, melted ghee, and then in a separate bowl. Mix sugar with milk and heat this mixture in the microwave for about one minute. Also add some salt and mix this. Then add gluten free maida little by little to make a tough dough. That's a tip for you. So please add gluten free maida little by little at, at a time. Mix it. Combine everything well and we need to form a tough dough. So I needed almost one cup of gluten free maida for this. So combine well everything. For Shankar Bale recipe it is very important to knead this dough nicely so I am keeping this mixture in a plate and then I'm combining everything and kneading. So I've kneaded almost for 10 to 20 minutes. So you can see how nicely that dough is looking and I have not added any xanthan gum to this. Now, now same process as we do for paratha. Take a small ball and applying some water and again kneading it on the chakla then flatten that ball and roll it slightly thick like paratha you have to do it very carefully because this is gluten free flour so please roll it delicately gently then cut in diamond shape size of your choice You can see the thickness. Now time to deep fry. So I am deep frying this in hot ghee. You can also take oil for vegan free version. So deep fry this on low medium flame. This is the tip for crispy Shankar Pali. You can also bake this at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. While deep frying, stir occasionally keeping the flame low medium. Fry this uh, sweet shankar pali till it turns golden and crisp. Then finally drain over kitchen towel. You can see the crispy and crunchy shankar pali. So repeat the same process for another batches. And your crispy shankar pali are ready to serve or you can also store this in airtight container once cooled completely if you like cardamom flavor then you can add cardamom powder or essence while making the dough thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel